Hello and welcome to another edition of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me Craig Barton. Now, I'm going to make a big claim here at the start of this video. I reckon Dr. Frost is probably in the top five of my all-time favourite maths resource creators. His PowerPoints are flipping out of this world. I featured them in the past, but it's criminal not to keep featuring them, to be honest with you, because I was planning a lesson for my year 11s on functions, new uh, GCSE specification, and I came across Frosty's resource. He's always one of my first that I go for, and I just looked at this PowerPoint, and I just thought... That is absolutely ideal, that I just had to feature it on this PowerPoint, because uh, on this uh, resource of the week, because if you haven't used Frosty's resources, well, let me just say, your life is about to drastically improve. So here we go, GCSE, IGCSE, FM functions. Now, I should say uh, straight away here that this isn't just ideal for the new GCSE, and it's not just ideal for the IGCSE. Um, if you're uh, an A-level teacher, um, this is absolutely perfect as an introduction, and in fact, quite a complex uh, journey into uh, the, the wonderful world of functions. So uh, most of Frosty's PowerPoints consist of a PowerPoint and an accompanying worksheet. So give them a download, and they look like this. Now, the first thing to say is, I just like the look of them. I love the use of green and all that, but I love the way, uh, I keep calling him Frosty, that's really bad. Dr. Frost, I like the way he, um, he, he structures his PowerPoints. So you get a nice little overview. So here's your GCSE stuff. Understanding of functions, inverse functions, and composite functions, nicely labelled. Then we get the IGCSE slash A level stuff there. Now, if any of you teach the level two certificate in further maths from AQA, one of my favourite qualifications, this is absolutely ideal for that. Um, and then you get nice little uh, introduction there. Now, if you've never used uh, the Dr. Frost, <laughs> I'm going to keep calling him Frosty. If you've not used Frosty's uh, PowerPoints before, you might not be familiar with these lovely green boxes. They uh, are used to hide the working out. So if I uh, just put this on full screen, and if you click on that, then it reveals the working out and so on. They're absolutely brilliant for that. Uh, check your understanding. So you... you the way they're set up is you get a you get a slide that's used for discussion and then you get slides for questions and they're just lovely how they how they're done so you get check your understanding but wait till you see something like this so you get algebraic input so we're still into the kind of um function intro introduction here more tests you understand then but then you get pages like this and i flipping love these pages because I mean, it says exercise provided on the worksheet, and you can get the worksheet there, but I like to save printing with this. Just project these up on the board. They're beautifully differentiated. They have a great progression of difficulty through them. And if I just show you the next page of these, I'll tell you when you need to start panicking, and that's when you see a skull and crossbone. Because, and another sign is a massive uh, green box there because you know Frosty's produced an absolute classic here. So these, if you see the sources of these, uh, some of them are Frosty originals um, that don't have any uh, references to. Then we get things taken from AQA. They're taken from all different sources. They're from the further maths exam there. But then we get these. So <laughs> from Edexcel we see, so he's taking the best from all different boards. But then anytime you see kangaroo rounds or something like that, that's from the thing above the maths challenges you know that you're gonna be in trouble, but thankfully the solutions are provided because I'll tell you what, I need them. So they're just wonderful how they're structured. Then we get into new GCSE specification stuff on inverse functions. Uh, Frosty loves this, <laughs> bro notation. Uh, feel free to keep that in or, or delete that. And then you get, again, quick fire questions, little tips, really nicely structured. <laughs> Harder one, you can see from the size of the green thing. And then you know you're going to get another page full of really nice questions for kids to do, either project on the board or use the worksheets. So I absolutely love Dr. Frost's PowerPoint. One word of warning, one word of warning. I have made the mistake in the past of using these without fully checking them. And they get really, really, really difficult. Um, and that is a very, very good thing, but it can be off-putting to kids if they're not entirely confident. So, for example, if you've got a, uh, a class that are borderline, whether you don't know whether they're going to do higher or foundation, and you're introducing them to functions, and you bang this up on the board or as part, <laughs> part of a homework, and they see this then all of a sudden maths may no longer be their, their favorite subject. So my advice would be to, uh, just like any PowerPoint or anything on TES, just go through it and customize it for, for your kids. And it's dead easy to do. That's the beauty of PowerPoint. Make a copy of the slide, delete the questions that aren't relevant and so on. Uh, the other thing, and this is just a personal preference, um, on any kind of uh, example slide, personally, I delete uh, Dr. Frost's working out. I much prefer to do it myself blank slide or non-interactive whiteboard just so I've got that flexibility to respond to what the kids are saying and so on that's just my personal preference but I'll tell you what I, I, an 
And again, another big claim this, I don't think there is a better way to start your planning of any topic than to start with a Dr. Frost PowerPoint. You just get a sense of the structure, but above all, you get a sense of the difficulty of how far a topic can go. And that's brilliant because that, that gives you the full range and that's a great way to start planning. Think where you want you get your, your kids to get to at the end of a sequence of lessons and work backwards from there. So this is just a wonderful, uh, wonderful PowerPoint. It gave me about ooh, three or four uh, lessons worth of material. Um, and that's just for GCSE. And then this this kind of stuff is absolutely ideal for the uh, level two uh, further math stuff or for, for A-level students. And it's just absolutely <laughs> easy. And there's a bit of a pirate from Frosty as well. It's just absolutely wonderful stuff. So. If you haven't used uh, Jamie's resources, get them downloaded, uh, get sharing your love for them because again, that is, look at that criminal, 676 times at the times of recording. That should be a hundred times uh, the size of that because most of us are gonna have to teach functions and I haven't seen a better PowerPoint on it than, than this one. So get downloading it, share your comments and I should be back with a fresh resource to week next week. Take care of yourselves, bye for now.